Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, we certainly received some rain today in parts of Connecticut that uh, certainly added up uh, over a half an inch uh, reported at, uh, well, several locations as we look here. Litchfield at uh, 0 0.55, 0 0.6 inches coming in officially at Bradley International Airport. Union, 0.69, less than uh, half an inch from Weathersfield, just over four tenths of an inch from uh, Weathersfield as well as from Hampton and Old Saybrook, just shy of two tenths of an inch. Just to give some uh, perspective from communities across the state officially, again, for the Hartford area, uh, as measured at Bradley International for the month now standing at 6.81 inches, which is a surplus of uh, two and three quarters of an inch. And if we go back all the way to the beginning of the year, over 45 inches of rain with the liquid of a uh, pardon me, liquid equivalent of anything frozen. Uh, of course, that is a departure, a surplus of over 10 inches to date. Uh, so the rain is certainly over. We will end the month basically on a dry note as we head through the 29th into the 30th, and the big story will be the downturn in temperature. In fact, compared to 24 hours ago, we're 5, 10, 12 degrees cooler across Connecticut. Currently, we've got basically 55 to 60 inland, 60 to 65 along the Connecticut shoreline, and a northwesterly breeze now that is filtering that cooler, drier air into the state. So dew point values still across eastern Connecticut in the upper 50s. Meanwhile, low 50s eventually dropping into the 40s across uh, the western and northwestern part of our state. So our view from Hartford showing a mainly clear sky over our capital city 60 degrees that west northwest wind again at three and our view from new london certainly drying out there and that will be the case as we make our way through the overnight hours as the front that moved through is offshore that west northwesterly wind again continues to filter drier air into the state so the really warm and muggy air has been suppressed to our south and we're not expecting a return anytime soon. In fact, temperatures remain below average as we uh, make our way through the end of the week through the upcoming weekend as well. So overnight tonight forecasting lows between 45 and 50 inland, low 50s along the 95 corridor and then for tomorrow afternoon uh, reaching say only near 60 in the northwest hills, mid 60s elsewhere inland. So 66 Middletown, Hartford, 65 Willimantic and mid to upper 60s with that wind coming in off the land uh, along coastal Connecticut. So a breezy uh, Wednesday on tap and as we look forward to our Thursday, uh, very similar to tomorrow. We're going to start the day with some sunshine, then clouds build through the afternoon. We'll likely become partly to mostly cloudy on Thursday and Thursday. We can't rule out a sprinkle, uh, but for the most part, most of the state for much of the time remains dry. With regard to the traffic uh, tropics, we are tracking Sam uh, sustained winds now up to 140 miles an hour. So this is strengthened uh, since six hours ago with the latest update from the National Hurricane Center. Still a cat four storm, still forecast to pass to the east of Bermuda as we head Saturday into Sunday of this upcoming weekend. But in addition uh, to Sam, two other tropical waves bear close monitoring uh, moving off the coast of Africa. So of course the hurricane season runs through the end of November and it promises to still be uh, an overly active one as we head through the coming days and weeks. So here in Connecticut, breezy weather sums up our Thursday and as well for Friday, Thursday and we could see at times more clouds and sun even cooler than tomorrow topping out the low 60s. And look at these morning lows, low 40s. That means the usual cooler spots, mid and upper 30s. We haven't seen temperatures this chilly since May 14th earlier this year. For the upcoming weekend, Saturday mostly sunny, 67. Sunday's looking less optimistic. It looks partly to mostly cloudy with perhaps some rain chances that could linger into early next week. So at least as of now on a on a Tuesday night, looking forward to the upcoming weekend. Saturday is the day to make plans. Uh, shoreline highs over the coming days, mid to upper 60s through the end of the week and as well through the upcoming weekend.